Now I can tell you that just as we acknowledge, the police have expanded their area of operation. Crime has reduced in Ejra as reported and beyond. And we are going to make sure that we continue to work together to make this police service more professional and more accommodating. Mr. Derry was speaking at the inauguration of a divisional police headquarters at Ejra built in response to the recommendations of a ministerial committee tasked to investigate the 2021 unrest in Ejra, which led to the death of two people. Two persons, Abdul Nasir Yusuf and Mutala Mohammed, died following a clash between irate youth of Ejra and the police military team. They were protesting the death of a social media activist, Ibrahim Mohammed, also known as Kakamechu. That June 28, 2021 incident also saw three persons, 20-year-old Luis Ayipa, Awal Mesbao and Nasif Nohu, aged 16 and 30 respectively, injured. The Justice George Comsins Committee, in a 10-point recommendation, called for the payment of compensation to bereaved and affected families. It also called for structural expansion of the drug police station and increase in personnel. I took board decision. Three years after the incident, a Drahini, Berma Osei Hedia II, led the traditional authorities and mobilized residents to initiate construction of a divisional police headquarters at the cost of 1.8 million Ghana cities. This, according to the Drahini, is to solve the area's security concerns. The committee, after weeks of investigations, made 10 recommendations. The 10 recommendations was called for expansion of Adria police station and an increase in personnel. While the government made strenuous efforts to provide solace to Adria and families of the dead, I took bold decision to leave my elders to mobilize resources to help provide requisite infrastructure that will facilitate increase of racist presence in town. From Ejra, my name is Ahim Interior for joining us.